happy October. Good morning. Hope everybody's well. I'm Patty from Machikala. Today we're going to start um, doing some of our Halloween cookies. Um, my children, my grandchildren, my customers' children, my customers love these. In fact, today and the next one we're doing um, were two of my daughter-in-law's favorites. I'm in North Carolina, she's in New York, and I just might have to send some up. Today we're making candy corn cookies. They look like little candy corns, and they are delicious and so easy. So here we go. I'm a little discombobulated today. Yesterday was my birthday. I was up late on the phone with my children, wishing I was closer to them, but it is what it is. Okay, we have two sticks of room temperature butter. We have a cup of flour. And I'm gonna mix that up. Perfect. I'm gonna add one egg. This is super simple in terms of ingredients. We have one egg here. three cups of flour and I whisked in a half a teaspoon of baking soda and that's pretty much it. Now I also have some orange and some yellow gel coloring available so keep that in mind. There we go. All right. Three cups of flour with a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm going to cover it so I don't get to cover it in flour because I've done that. Oops, and I am losing it a little. I just remembered another ingredient. Hang on. We're going to add two tablespoons of orange juice, which I should have added with the egg, but it'll be fine. So I'm adding two tablespoons of orange juice. I squeezed this this morning out of some oranges, which is why it's in this container. There we go. I'm gonna mix this up. to divide this dough in three and one third will be left plain white one third is going to get a few drops of yellow gel coloring and one third is going to get a few drops of orange gel coloring and when I do that I'll be back alrighty so I have a loaf pan lined it with parchment paper so I could pull it up on the sides I took my yellow layer and I spread it in the bottom. I'm gonna show you how I do that with my next layer. This is the orange. Now this is my preferred way doing, of doing it. You could just plop it in there and spread it out. I find it easier to put this on one of my little plastic cutting things here and get it spread out somewhat, sort of in the shape of the pan. And then just peel it up and put it in. Saves me some pushing. Then I'm going to tuck it in to all the corners, make a nice even layer. Go all the way around. Good. Makes it quick and easy. Now this is my little trick. I don't like to see my fingerprints or knuckle prints in the finished cookie. So I'll tuck this parchment paper back over 
And I'll just kind of tamp it down with my pastry tamper. I wanted to get it as flat and as smooth as possible. That's just a personal preference, absolutely not necessary. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna get the white layer in there. We're going to fold over the parchment paper to cover it. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for, you could put it in the fridge overnight, but at least a couple of hours, and then we'll be back and we'll finish up these cookies. Here we are. So it's out of the fridge. It's been in the fridge for a few hours. I'm gonna lift it out. There we go. Now, I have a little bowl of sugar here. Now, I would love to use sanding sugar for this, but unfortunately, I'm all out, haven't been able to get out to get some, and I should order some on Amazon. But look at that. You see those three layers? Just like candy corn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to slice this in about quarter inch slices, just like that. See what we got? Okay. Let me get this out of the way. And then, here's the fun part. Let me show you. You're gonna cut on an angle and make your little triangles. Look at this. Check that out, how cute. Gonna dip in the sugar and on a parchment lined cookie sheet. Oven is preheating at 375. These will go in for seven to nine minutes. Don't let them get brown. And we'll see you back when they're done. Buon cibo, buon amici. Good food, good friends. These little sugar cookies are going to make your friends and family think you're the Halloween rock star. Enjoy!